Right guys, so um wanted to do something a wee bit different this year. A little bit of a year-end review video and a fight of the year kind of introduction. Um, it saves you having to listen to me talk at the team night out because I usually end up talking to you guys there saying something but now you can just get pissed and ignore me, which is always good. So we had a really good year I think. Um, I always go on about performances not results and I literally don't I don't take note of the results as much anymore. When I first started doing this, um, I used to have like a proper documented date, a show, opponent, all the details and stuff. I don't really do that anymore. Um, I found it was making me get a little bit too uh, results focused and maybe it was making me question certain fights to take instead of maybe giving you hard fights. I was like, oh, I, don't, I want a win record to be good at the end of the year, so I don't ever want that to be a focus. I want the focus to be on you guys getting the best experiences to improve and get to where you want to go. And whether that's having one fight, which is fine, or whether that's trying to get to the UFC, which is also fine, all your goals are valid. And even if you have no intention of fighting, I keep saying this and maybe people think I'm talking shit, you're still a valued member um, of the team. It takes people who just want to come in and just do a bit to to build a team and to be part of the community. That's that's pretty much the most important goal is we have a community um, that we can all rely on. We're, we're all going to go through tough times, whether it's through fighting or whether it's our, our personal lives, but it's important that we all have a community that we feel that we can rely on um, and that people have got your back because, well, we all, we all need somebody to get our back sometimes, whether it's in jiu-jitsu or whether it's um, just in life. So I'm really happy with the, the, the way the team has, has came together this year. Um, the ways have all been con more consistent in your sessions. I think there's still room for improvement with, with a lot of guys in terms of consistency, but that's, that's always uh, probably going to be the case. But we should always strive to be more consistent with our training no matter what our uh, goals are. We've had our best year competitively, like, regardless of results. I think all the performances this year have been good. We maybe had a couple of performances that weren't what we would have liked, but I think they can kind of be explained away. Not excuses, but explained by injuries and maybe slight lack of preparation. But apart from that, the performances were uh, really, really good on a whole. I'm really happy with that. And the attitude of everyone as well has, uh, has been great. Like the team, team coming together for, for we had guys fighting in Liverpool, it was great, we had really good guys, everyone coming in and pushing everybody and then same for especially Goliath at the end of the year, obviously that's really recent so you can remember it a little bit more, um, but yeah that's that, that, it was really cool, really good to see, I'll just check my notes. Another really uh, good thing I was really happy with was uh, the, the debuts this year, we got a lot of debuts of guys making their uh, debuts, <laughs> guys making their first appearances, um, which is brilliant, I really want to get more debuts coming through. With that being said, I don't want to chuck guys in when they're not ready, so if you're really keen to fight, that's great, I'm really, really happy to hear that, Like you, you want to compete, that's great, but I also am very aware that I don't want to chuck in at the deep end and then you get a shit experience. I want everyone to be, no one's ever going to be 100% prepared for their first fight, it's just not going to happen, but I want to get you in a position that I I feel that you are comfortable to defend the, most of what's going to happen to you. I never I always say that to parents that I, I speak to, but I wouldn't put them into a situation I didn't think he could handle. And I think that's really, really important. So the guys that want to compete, the key is consistency. Keep consistent in the gym, grappling, striking turn up to the MMA sessions and you'll get your opportunities. You can ask the guys who maybe had to wait a little while uh, to compete and and why why maybe they had to wait for a while. Um, but consistency is the key if you're wanting to compete. And competing in grappling will give you um, a really good start. I know I bang on, on about it quite a lot, but it's something that I really wish I'd done a lot more is competing grappling. Um, cause it just gets you loads and loads of competition experience um, and it just makes the transition to fighting slight, slight, slightly easier. It's never going to be easier but it's just slightly easier that you can handle those nerves a little bit better. You can, you're used to managing your weight 
and you're used to dealing with just all the kind of shit that goes about having to compete because it is a, an uncomfortable experience if you're if you've never done it before. Thanks. Are you all sleepy? <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute. Oh, thank you. You are the best. She had a wee operation, so. Oh, how's she getting on? She's actually I great. You mentioned her last yeah, time. yeah, she had a UTI after. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she had a wee UTI, but she's um, she's getting better now. So we're really, really worried just after it. Fighter of the year. Not gave it out for a couple of years since before COVID. Only done it twice. Um, Reese probably should have got it the last time, to be honest, that we were going to do it, but he was literally the only one that it could have went to, and I don't want it to become a default thing, like one guy has fights of the year and all of a sudden, oh, I'm fighting of the year, I, I, I want it to be something that's like, oh, there could have been a couple of people got this, but it just so happened that it was it was me this year, people thought it was me or whatever. So I don't want it to be this default thing of you just get it. It sh should be something that, that's earned and has been some exceptional circumstance. I don't know if that's the right phrase, but yeah, it, it, it should mean something. So, so this year we've got three candidates, or I've put forward three candidates, um, and you guys are going to vote on them. I've kind of decided in the past but that's just one person's opinion there's 40 people or something in that group so I think it's much more I'd rather it came from you guys than just me because um, my opinion is not the most important opinion <coughs> unless it's about shoes um, <laughs> so the candidates the first candidate Mr Reese McEwen again he's won this award before puts in a lot of good work, as you guys know, and Reese this year has had an excellent year. Three three pro fights in Cage Warriors, coming coming back from a loss in his last fight, he spoke about that a lot. Um, all his three fights in Cage Warriors, he's not had it all his own way, he's had to he's had to come through some adversity in each fight. Sam Spencer fight had to come through a tough round two. I think maybe this was it a tough round one, sorry, in, in the Kingsley Crawford fight, and just a tough opponent who was right up the top of the division, took him down. Um, Kingsley Crawford hadn't been taken down at Bantamweight before, and Reese took him down like an empty tracksuit. Um, and then the last fight um, came through some adversity against the Jiu-Jitsu black belt. People can say that he was a late replacement or whatever, but still a fucking Jiu-Jitsu black belt who, who was already preparing for a fight, so... There's still a tough opponent you had to come through. Came through a tough first round in that um, and got the win. Two stoppages, two submission finishes, two submission finishes, and a performance of the night um, and a, an almost KO of Kingsley Crawford, which would have been fucking awesome. Um, so yeah, re really good year uh, for Reese. He also got his brown belt. Um, well deserved on that. Anyone that's grappled with him will tell you. Obviously, his, his grappling's uh, excellent. So our next candidate for uh, Fighter of the Year is uh, Mr. Jeff Acker, the Ghanaian Sexy Prince, as I've uh, tried to christen him. Jeff, 2-0 this year in Rise and Conquer, two uh, dominating decisions, like, weren't even close, won every, every second, every round, and it's not like the opponents were walkovers. Um, both tough guys, and Jeff styled on them, looked great every time. He also competed a lot in grappling this year. He got 13 and 1 grappling record. Got his blue belt. Um, and a couple other things. Jeff stepped up this year and started taking on the uh, the fundamentals programme. Him and Jazz. Credit to Jazz as well for doing that. That is starting to produce more guys for the team, which was the goal. Get guys doing the fundamental classes and then they come through into the team. So Je Jeff stepped up and uh, took some responsibility for that as well, which is really cool. Another thing I'm really happy with Jeff this year is uh, his overall consistency and training uh, changed, or improved, sorry. Um, became a better teammate for it, which is really important um, to me and to the team as well. Um, it was just making more, making more sessions and making more use of the sessions that he was in. 
Um, that's a real, real, real big improvement um, from Jeff. So yeah, well done, Jeff. Our last candidate for the year is Mr. Ellis Pilkington, the Scottish cowboy, the fucking White Walker, Ellis Ironside. A few nicknames. The White Walker's a new one just because from watching a video of him this morning. You're the fucking palest man alive, Ellis. Translucent. Ellis, 1 0 in Thai boxing this year, 3 2 and 1 in MMA, which you know should be 4 and 2 because he got fucking robbed that draw. And grappling, he got 1 DQ loss, which everyone knows is a win. It was a, it was a neck crank or something. Who cares? Get wins in Thai boxing and MMA. The busiest fighter in the team this year. <laughs> Most fights, was it seven fights or something like that? Improved everywhere, Ellis. He improved striking, improved his grappling, improved his, improved his strength and conditioning as well. He's in a much better shape now. That was really, really happy with that. And he's always a good teammate with his uh, with the Blazing squad and, and the rest of the team as well. And what kind of really impressed me this year with Ellis was his cons obviously his consistency of wanting to compete all the time and fighting, but he came back from uh, tough fights where he lost and rounds that he lost, and he came back with like a really really good attitude. Of like I remember after he lost to uh, that Reggie lad, I walked in the cage and literally the first thing he said to me was, "Need to get better." But you, you can't, I don't think you can really ask for a better attitude than that, he wasn't fucking pissed off, he's just like, oh, right, need to get better, and then went on a plan of getting better, and that showed in his next fight, and he's in a sticky moment in his next fight, um, the guy took his back, he, Ellis won the first round, guy took his back, definitely won the second round, and then Ellis had to come back and win the last round, and I, I found that, um, Really, really impressive uh, to do that, and just the whole year of doing that, like kind of couple of wins, couple of losses type of thing. But good, a lot of good uh, mental strength there, so that that was really cool. So yeah, that's your three candidates: Reese McEwen, Jeff Acker, and Ellis Pilkington. So obviously they've they've all had successful years competing wise. Um, but they've also improved a lot of other things out with that, like being good teammates, which is important. They've, they've all had strong years, um, so there's no wrong answer here. We'll put the voting live, I'll put the link underneath um, in the of the video. And yeah, just it's your opinion guys, the, the voting is anonymous. Um, you're no one, you won't get to see who wins, um, I think I'm going to try and set it up so that I won't even know who wins, I'm going to maybe get my mum to like, read it or something like that and then write it in an envelope so we'll all find out at the same time who um, actually wins, so yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video guys, get voting, get training. <laughs>